For most anime conventions, the Masquerade is the biggest event of the weekend. Usually held on Saturday, the Masquerade is a costume contest where participants show off their work on stage either as a walk-on or performance. If you plan on checking out the Masquerade, be prepared to wait in line. Usually a long line. Also, be sure to pay attention to the convention's rules regarding lines. Because some conventions may not have enough seats for everyone who wants to attend the Masquerade, they may use a ticketing process to make sure that people aren't turned away after waiting in a long line for nothing. You also may not be able to line up until a certain time. While watching the Masquerade, be sure to turn off your cell phone just like any performance. Also, if you want to take pictures, turn your flash off your camera. The flashes can be blinding and distracting to those on stage. Your pictures will usually come out fine without a flash. After the performances, the judges will deliberate. During this time, there will be some extra entertainment, usually exhibition skits, hall costume contest winners, AMV contest winner winners, or fun videos to watch. Once the judges return, they present the awards to the winners. From convention to convention, every masquerade is different. Each convention will post their rules, regulations, and procedures for the masquerade well in advance, so be sure to re review them well. The masquerade director and the masquerade staff work very hard to make sure things run smoothly for the participants and viewers when it's showtime, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Most of the time, you will need to register before the convention if you want to compete. Again, be sure to read the rules and see when they start and end registration. Some cons take registration at the convention, but not many. When you register, be sure to provide all the information they ask for. Your entry may be denied if you leave out certain information. Usually, you are asked for the group leader's name, the names of the other participants, the source and the characters that your costumes are from, if you're doing a skit or a walk-on, and sometimes a general idea of what your skit is about. One question a lot of people ask is what division they are in. Sometimes you will see novice and advanced, sometimes novice journeyman and master. The level you are in depends on the number of wards you have won in past masquerades. That, again, varies from con to con, but usually if you have not won any awards or just a couple minor awards, you're a novice. If you have won a few awards, you're a journeyman, and if you have won numerous awards, you're a master, advanced, craftsman, whatever the con calls it. The point of the divisions is to make sure the competition is fair for everyone. People who have never competed before would probably not want to if they had to compete head-to-head -head against those who have been winning awards for years. So both craftsmanship and performance awards are given out by division. However, all entries are eligible for best in show. Once your entry is in, prepare and practice. Make sure you give yourself enough time to finish your costume so that you are not rushing to get it done in the final days and hours before the convention. If you're doing a skit, practice. A lot. If you're dancing, try to practice with your costume on at least once so you can make sure nothing will get in the way or fall off while you're performing. Be sure to look or ask for the stage dimensions so you make sure you have enough room. Make sure everyone is posi positioned correctly so the audience can see them. Judging usually falls under two categories, craftsmanship and performance. Craftsmanship is usually optional at a, either a scheduled time on Friday or Saturday or in the green room before the show, you will meet with craftsmanship judges who will look at your costume up close. You must bring a reference picture with you so the judges know what you are trying to recreate. Here you will tell them how you made your costume. Be sure to tell them any special techniques you used and new things you learned. They will ask you questions such as how long did it take you, what materials did you use, and what are you most proud of. It helps to write down a list of things you want to say in case you get nervous or the judges are rushing because they are behind schedule. You can also present them with notes, reference pictures, sketches, and anything else you use during your process of creating your costume. The other judging is performance. If you want to compete in the masquerade, you have to go on stage either in a walk-on or a skit. A walk-on is just like it sounds. You walk on stage, pose a couple times, then walk off. Usually people who are just interested in craftsmanship awards do walk-ons. However, walk-ons do not have to be boring. Use music that fits well with your character. Pause for a moment to pose in character. If you have a cool prop or something interesting with your costume, such as a reveal or a quick change, show it on stage. Be sure to show off your hard work, don't just run across the stage. Skits are about giving a performance to the audience. 
be it a dance, a scene from the anime, or a crazy crossover. Remember to practice your skit well so that you can give the audience a great show. Most conventions will qu require that you pre-record your sound, and that includes dialogue. You can use a free program called Audacity to do this, and it's very easy to use. Some conventions, especially the smaller ones, will have microphones available, but don't rely on them. Using pre-recorded sound is much easier, plus you don't have to remember your lines. Skits will have a time limit, and they vary from convention to convention. If you go over, your entry will likely be disqualified from awards, and you may be kicked off stage, and no one wants that. At the convention, be sure to check in with Masquerade headquarters to let them know you are there and ready for the show. If you haven't already received them, you will receive information for times of any rehearsals, your craftsmanship judging time, and report time for the Masquerade. Be sure you're on time for all these so you don't hold up other people. You will need to show up early for the masquerade as a participant. How early that is depends on the masquerade and what needs to be done before the show. Be sure you eat, drink water, and go to the bathroom before you report. Some cons will just have you sit in the audience until it's your turn to go on stage, while others will have you wait backstage or in a green room, hopefully with water snacks and a live feed of the show, but that's not always the case. Be sure to listen to those in charge so you know when to go up on stage. Lastly, you put in a lot of hard work into your costume and your performance, so remember to have fun and put on a great show for the audience while on stage. As for advice on how to have a great skit or make a good costume, that's a topic for a future podcast. If you have any suggestions for our next What to Expect segment or for any other segments, please send them to podcast at animecons.com.